Hello, in this video I want to create just a couple methods in our user sessions model um, so that we can clean up uh, some of this goofiness that we're doing here. Um, specifically in our uh, login user from cookie, um, we got this kind of weird stuff going on here. We can clean that up by adding a method to our user session and then we have um, some more goofiness kind of going on in our logout. Um, so let's go ahead and <clears throat> let's create a method that will um, grab a user session. All right, let's create a method in our user sessions and we'll call it like get from cookie or something like that um, so that we can grab the user sessions from the current cookie uh, on the computer on uh, that's stored on the client's computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this as a static method, I think. And we're going to say public static function and we'll call this uh, get from cookie. I don't know. That sounds good to me. And what I want to do is I want to um, we'll just yeah. What we'll do is we're going to say uh, user session is going to equal. Um, and what I'm going to do is do a self find first okay and what I want to do here is we're going to for our conditions we're going to basically get uh, do the same thing we did earlier we're going to find the um, we're going to find it by the user agent and by the session okay so let's do the user agent first so user agent and that will be our first bound value and then we'll say and session okay equals and then we'll bind that so then what we can do in our bind is we can say uh, this is going to be an array and our first one is going to be session and then we're going to get you uh, what was that called it was you agent no virgin U agent no version, All right? And then our second uh, parameter is going to be um, we're going to say cookie get, and then remember me cookie name. All right, so that'll set up the user session now. We really only want to do this if there is a cookie name. So let's let's go ahead and put an if statement here, not inside of that, but before that. And we're going to say if uh, cookie uh, exists, and that is not okay. And we will say remember me cookie name. So if that exists, then we're going to grab all of this. Okay. So then what I want to do is um, we'll say if not user session. So if the user session doesn't exist, then what we're going to do is uh, we'll just return false, I think. Okay. If it does exist, we're going to return user session. Okay. So let's see if this works. Um, so up here, we'll just say user session is going to equal um, user sessions get from cookie. All right, and then I'm just gonna, for now, let's just dump and die this user session. And let's test this and make sure this is working. Uh, let me fix my screen here. Whoops, that is not at all what I meant to do. Okay, so let's test this. Um, I'm going to, I guess, close this again. We'll open it back up. 
I'll go to localhost. All right, so we got a problem on line 11 in our user sessions. I guess what I'm going to have to do is do this. User session is equal to new self and then user session. That's kind of goofy. Alright, so this should be, yep, so this is my user, my session user ID right here. Um, so that seems to work. Uh, I'm not really sure why I couldn't just, I don't know. Um, but now let's see. So we got that. Um, and then, so that we can get rid of all of this here. And let's just make this camel case. And then get our user ID and we'll log in user. We could even go one step further and say um, uh, if user new self int. So we can say if user we we'll put all this okay all right so let me get rid of this dump and die now and all right so let's see if there's cookie um, let's go to the home page I'm just going to go ahead and dump and die session here. Yep. Okay. So that, that's working. Um, take a look at this. Instantiate the new object if the cookie exists. Uh, if, it, if it doesn't exist, um, what we probably need to do is put this outside of here. Uh, so that, that I can return. Yep. Okay. Um, and then we could probably clean up one more thing too, and that's in the logout. So right now we're doing this weird thing where we're doing a raw query here. Um, I think what I want to do is um, we can use the same function. So we'll say. Um, We can say user session is equal to user sessions get from cookie. So we have that now, and then what we can do is just say user session delete. So we should be able to get rid of this line and this line. So that should be good to go. So let's try that. Um, I guess what we need to do is do if user sessions. So if there is that. Alright, so let's try to log out now. Register. Okay, so let's go to um, our database now. And let's just check this. We're going to go to our user sessions. Oh, yep, it deleted it. So it, our delete function worked. We don't have any rows in there. And now if we go ahead and go to our log in click 
like I remember me and we'll go back here and refresh and we have that and if we log out go back here refresh it's gone um, our cookie so our logout stuff's working correctly go ahead and get rid of the Oh, we still had it in our cookie name. We had it in our delete. There we go. Or I had that from testing earlier. Maybe you don't have that. So we don't have any delete now. So yep, redirect it to our login. So everything's working great. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call this the end of the video. What we're gonna do in our next video is start our registration process so that you can register users. Um, so we'll be building that uh, action and view, or that controller action and the view and uh, making that work and we'll do validation and everything on that. So I'll see you in the next video and we'll get registration going.